Good evening. I wanted to hop on here for a moment and encourage you, bring some inspiration, bring some hope, hopefully give your faith a booster shot. Tonight, this evening, um, I have not been doing a lot on social media. These last couple days, I've been painting the Ecclesia and, and I'm in graduate school and I'm working on sermons and I'm working on getting my podcast up with Charisma. And, um, but I wanted to hop on here. I had a really section of my day yesterday that was very painful. How many of you all are dealing with heart pain or pain in your body? Say hello to me. Say hi. Um, let me know where you're watching from. You might not be dealing with heart pain, pain in your body, hard trials today, but as we all know, life sometimes hits hard. And sometimes we can get the wind knocked out of us. Sometimes we can get disappointed. Sometimes, uh, you know, people act in such a way that break our hearts. So I, had a, I had some heart, I had some difficult information revealed to me yesterday that presented an obstacle towards the fulfillment of a dream that I have been believing God for for a while and and I just had um, another friend message me she was having a hard day today and I was thinking about this and I felt like the Lord put it on my heart good morning good evening Allie Laura um, Kiana Claire so I felt like the Lord wanted me to say to you that he wants you to wake up every day and to walk around every day with your head held high with your shoulders thrown back and in holy confidence that you serve a good God not only is he good he is sovereign over the entire universe not only is he sovereign over the entire universe he has access to every resource not access he owns everything <laughs> he can create something out of nothing so we're not talking we don't serve a broke god we don't serve a powerless god we do not serve a confused god we do not serve a a god that is disjointed he doesn't have multiple personalities he doesn't have um you know like rage issues or anything like that like some people might believe god is very very good and he is meticulous and he stop getting on here talk about my hair mind your own business about your hair you do your hair the way you want to do your hair i do the hair my hair the way i want to do my hair come on christians now we got better things to do to be talk about my hair <laughs> that's why some people are miserable they're far too opinionated about things that are none of their business mind your own business the bible says that mind your own business and these matters, it is none of your business what color I color my hair. <laughs> anyway, where was I, Lord? Okay. So I want you to wake up every day. And I want you to say in your heart, in your mind, to yourself, something fabulous, absolutely wonderful is going to happen to me today. Something amazing is going to happen. God is going to move in a powerful way. And by the way, as I was uh, going through this hard day, God arranged for me to meet with three of my favorite people, girlfriends here. And we had dinner. And that was wonderful. And then as I sat down to eat dinner, there was a beautiful rainbow in the sky. And God was just reminding me what I already know. You already know this. He's got us. He's working it out. He... He's not stumped by our problems. He is working good for us through all of the things that we are going through. He's got a plan to use everything that happens, good, bad, ugly, painful, joyful, all of it. He has a plan to work it out for our ultimate good. And the pain that we experience in life is temporary. The pain and the trial that you are going through right now it could be here today and gone tomorrow. It could be here today and gone tomorrow. Why do we waste time worrying about things that God is already in the process of solving? Not just solving, but working out for our good. Why do we 
why do we feel pain? Now, I mean, I know pain is part of life, but there's some of it that's unnecessary. Like, we don't need to be feeling rejected. Nobody likes to get rejected. Nobody, nobody likes to be overlooked. Nobody likes when somebody gets picked instead of them for a job or something that they were wanting. Nobody, nobody, nobody loves that kind of stuff. But the thing is, God and His sovereign favor on our lives. He has favor for those who walk upright before Him. And He has an absolute perfect plan for our individual lives. And He wants us to get ourselves stirred up in our most holy faith. And why not believe? Why not put your faith out there? A lot of a lot of you guys have been putting getting up in the morning and putting your faith out there that it's going to be a rough day. It's going to be a hard day. Bad things are going to happen today. So this is not that far fetched. You just got to change what you're deciding your day is going to be like. Instead of waking up and more of the same, it's going to be another another bad thing happen. Another obstacle is going to come up. Yes, there's going to be obstacles, but if we change and shift our mindset, I'm telling you, God is going to meet us at our point of faith. He is moved by our faith. So if we wake up every day and say something amazing, absolutely amazing is going to happen to me today. And here's the second part of this. For many of us and for many days, we can decide to make that something amazing happen. <laughs> we don't have to wait for it to happen to us. We don't have to wait for something to happen to us to have a bad day. Am I the only one who can have a bad day if I want to have a bad day? Nothing different than yesterday. I'm just having a bad day today. The same day, same things happening today as yesterday. And we can just be in some kind of a funk or think some kind of a way and have a miserable day. Why not just shift that over and be like, okay, nothing necessarily even has to change on the outside, but it will. It will maybe not uh, immediately maybe not every single day but as you get that attitude as you say something amazing is happening god is working on my behalf i am blessed and highly favored he is bringing resources that i need when i need them and this is something you can guarantee about you're walking in the will of god the resources that we need will meet us along the way he is going to enable us to have everything that he designed for us to have so we need to believe him so that we receive these things from him and he's going to give us ideas He's going to give us inspiration. He's going to give us provision. He's going to show us where to go, who to talk to. And he wants he wants us to broaden our understanding. I mean, two people walking down the path, for instance. I'm out here walking. I'm exercising, having a great time. Something wonderful is happening. God is moving. I am building, the kingdom is expanding, and I'm just having a great old walk, and I walk by somebody walking the other direction. This guy's in tip-top shape, young guy, and I mean, he, the, this path is wide, and he ends up walking into the grass to be 20 feet away from me. Now, we, we all know why he did that. Fear, ridiculous, abnormal, unreasonable, absurd fear. Because he has heard something and believed it even though scientifically and logically and every other way, it doesn't make sense that he would need to be 10 or 12 feet away from me on a path walking in the other direction. I mean, I could, I could like sneeze and like it, as far as you could possibly sneeze walking in the other direction and he would be safe. <laughs> so, like, it just made me think, oh, Lord, oh my goodness. God help, help them, help them, help us. I mean, we can see how ridiculous that is. I, I can see how ridiculous that is. But how many of us are walking in fear, avoiding a pleasant day out of believing some kind of bullarchy, maloney, that either our own faulty thinking is telling us or the enemy is whispering in our ear or some, you know, voice out here, an advertisement, or, you know, enemies, or what have you, trying to intimidate us. We believe it! And we do stupid stuff because we believe it! Stupid stuff like, you know, trip, trip, going into the woods, walking by somebody on an outdoor path who's already like six feet away from you. So, Lord, I just pray. I'm going to pray right now. <laughs> Oh, 
There's a reason why the entire world is losing, like, I won't say the entire world, why there are so many people that are completely easy to control a brainwash because they have been being controlled for a while. They've not been thinking the thoughts of God. They've not been reading the word of God. They have no way of discerning good from evil because they, they, you know, absorb all of this advertisement and media and they, they go to the schools where they're told and taught these lies. But we as a people of God, we have got to be full of hope. We have got to be full of faith. We have got to be full of love. We have got to be full of compassion. And we have got to understand that the God of the universe has created us with a purpose. And he didn't just leave us here alone. He is providing. And he has, we got to get, we got to think more supernatural, honestly. We just look at the natural far too much and make our decisions. We look at the natural far too much to decide how we're supposed to feel about something, what we're supposed to do. And, you know, the Lord is saying, I want to, I want to lift the veil and I want you to see the possibilities of the wonderful life that I have designed for you to have. Not free from pain, not free from trial, but above it all. He is above it all and we are seated with Christ in heavenly places and we are above it all. And so amazing things, amazing things are going to happen. He wants to move in a supernatural way to bring provision. Up. He wants to get people out of debt in far less time than they ever had ever, ever imagined that they would get them, get out of debt. He, he wants us to do the part that we can do and believe him from the bottom of our soul, spirit, heart, mind, will, and emotions to believe him something good is going to happen today. And if nothing amazing, nothing absolutely incredible in the natural happens, it's going to be an amazing day for you if you just decide, like, this is this will that he has given us. We can make a decision and we can think higher thoughts, keep our eyes fixed on heaven, and just believe because we're thinking these higher thoughts. We're thinking the thoughts of God. We're aligning with the Word of God. Thinking the thinking the Word of God over our situation instead of keeping our eyes fixed on what we see and believing for God is is not against me. God is for me. He's not against me. He has called me an ambassador. I'm a saint. There is no absolute no reason to believe that he is not sending angels to move on our behalf. You know, Peter, he even got thrown in prison. And his angel, at the prayers of his friends, came and got him out of prison. We have angels, too. We have angels, too. We're not just... This is a this earth that we are in. There are spiritual realities going on all around us. And we can, we can walk in an awareness that God's angels hearken to his word. And we can get his word in our mouth and begin to speak the word of God and put our angels to work for us in these situations i mean you know god is creating and I've, i i did a video about this called a, a race of superhumans essentially you know we see all the hybrid things that are going on and you know demonically possessed people doing all kinds of things to control others and poison and all, all this crazy stuff well satan's not the only one Satan is not the only one. He's got his puppets, and then God has his body. <laughs> Satan has his puppets, and God has his body. And we are part of the body of Christ. And we have got to recognize, and we have got to realize, we got power over Satan. We have power over demons. We have no, the demons have no power of us that we don't get them. We even have, we have power over, and in, 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 in as far as, um, the will of God and the desire of God give us power over um, the earth and realities that needed to be shift, shifted. The Lord needs us to come into agreement with him when we get hit with certain things and we're wondering, well, how has this been allowed to happen? Well, some of it God's working some kind of good for us or somebody else and some of it, it's just shouldn't be allowed to happen. And there must be some human somewhere who sided with the enemy and created this reality that wasn't supposed to be. And that's where we come in and say, mm. 
the will of God is going to be done on earth as it is in heaven in my territory in the mighty name of Jesus in my home in the mighty name of Jesus in my body in the mighty name of Jesus in my relationships in Jesus mighty name and we ask God I'm just gonna pray Lord we ask you to lead us into all truth the Holy Spirit's gonna lead us into all truth there are th there are some issues and problems we have that we don't have to have we just don't have the truth of the matter and we don't have the um, the wisdom of the matter we haven't asked God because he says if we ask him he'll give it to us what is the wisdom in here Lord what wisdom needs to be applied in this situation to change the way I'm viewing it if it's not a changeable thing at this time to change the way that I'm viewing it to align with the way that you're viewing it so it doesn't take me down Lord, give us that wisdom. Let us be wise with that heavenly wisdom. Let us have that great discernment that comes by your Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God lives on the inside of us. The Spirit of the living God lives on the inside of us. Lord God, I pray that we align our mind with your mind, our heart with your heart, our will with your will, our emotions even with your emotions lord bring us into a place of oneness with the father through the son by the holy spirit and may we be one as you are one with the father and with each other and help us lord to absolutely stand on your promises and on your truth and walk around every day doing the the warfare in our mind that needs to be done and if you have a broken heart today i understand i have days that i feel like my heart is breaking but don't just settle in with that don't just ponder on the things that are breaking your heart go and do the things that make you feel better if a walk makes you feel better go and do a walk if a conversation with a friend makes you feel better have a conversation with a friend do the things that make you feel better you don't always need some deep you know inner healing you know session or something you might just need to stop sitting on the couch and thinking about what hurt you and go do the thing that makes you feel better <laughs> and for a christian one of those things is serving other people visioneering about the ways that you can expand the kingdom of god in your neighborhood in your family go pray for somebody else go write a thank you card go bake something for your elderly neighbor you're gonna feel better you don't have to just accept crushing pain as your portion like I'm not saying don't grieve when there is a, there's a season to grieve there's a season for everything and I'm not saying you don't acknowledge when you're grieving and you're going through a grieving process a acknowledge that be aware of it but you, you know, you don't have to, to lay on your bed 24-7, seven, seven days a week, while, even while you're in the grieving process. You can get up and do, begin to do things that make you feel better. And do the things that work. The things that are not working, stop doing them. Stop doing those things that aren't working. <laughs> For me, it was eating sugar. That was not helping my stress level. <laughs> but I'm going to go back to walking. I love you guys. i um, going to be on tomorrow. I'm talking about the fruit of the spirit. Actually, I'm walking in this direction. Talking about the fruit of the Spirit. It's going to be a great message. It's going to be helpful. Y'all tune in. We come on right at about 11 o'clock. See you later.